If you are passionate and curious about food, Modernist Cuisine will both tell you why cooking techniques work, how to do them, and the recipes that are the final result. I couldn't do a project like this by myself. I suppose in a sense we were trying to create the book that we wished we'd had when we first started learning to cook. Uh, while the book is an indispensable resource for professional chefs, uh, we think it's very accessible for uh, home cooks. We decided that a founding principle of the book would be to use uh, great graphics, in particular great photography, to explain and show the concepts. The way you do these cutaway photos is pretty straightforward. You cut stuff in half. The book weighs about 40 pounds uh, altogether. It's 2,438 pages long. Believe it or not, there's about four pounds of ink in a single copy of Modernist Cuisine. Part of the reason it's so large is there's over 3,200 photographs and 1,500 recipes throughout the book. Uh, the kitchen can be a messy place, uh, and this uh, six volume The Kitchen Manual feels right at home in the context of a busy kitchen. We will tell you the real professional way, along with how you might do it at home, how you'd step back from the professional way if that isn't what works for you. But we also cover classic dishes such as uh, hamburgers, mac and cheese, American barbecue. Sous vide is an amazing cooking technique that we cover very thoroughly in the book. It lets you have total control over how done something is and get perfect results every time. We also teach you how to make gels, foams, and emulsions that are uh, beautiful, uh, dramatic. Liquid nitrogen is 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, and it's a fantastic way to cool things quickly in the kitchen. Food becomes so brittle it's like glass. A single blow will shatter it into a thousand pieces. We have a very in-depth look at coffee. We really wanted to give it the attention it deserves and explain a lot of the techniques pioneered by the best baristas around the world. And along the way, we shatter a few myths about wine. There's a tremendous amount of physics that happens when you do the simplest things, such as popping popcorn or opening a bottle of champagne. We tell you why something works and how to do it. And that lets you take those ideas and make anything with it, integrate it into your own personal vision of cuisine. So the point of all of this is really to create delicious food. And the reason we create delicious food is to share it with the people we love.